as you guys could probably tell, I'm very, very, very pissed and so upset right now. So me and Ghost are no longer friends. And I think I want to talk about this because, one, he's going to start literally basically lying to people. And I want to literally say my side of the story so for people to understand what's actually going on because I literally had no idea of any of this shit up until he literally did this particular thing recently. So, other than that, um, let's just get right into it. So, I've known Ghost since 2014. And um, I've known his ex-girlfriend, um, Rebecca, since 20, yeah, 2015-ish, to be specific. Uh, so, basically, in that particular span of the time, those two got together and... That's where it just went AWOL. So, uh, allow me to explain. So, um, prior to this, there was a minor incident around May. Where um, I was just basically um, supporting everybody as usual. And then, my boy Ghost comes into my DMs and tells me, Why are you hitting on my girlfriend, putting love hearts? I thought you were supposed to be my bro. Support me, not her. The fuck? And then I say, bruv, I'm not hitting on her, bro. Damn, did you forget that I support her too? That was a year ago, my guy, that she followed me. I do that for almost everyone, including you. And then he says, she's a fake. She got everyone thinking I'm abusive when all I'm about is peace. She's immature. And a geek, unfollow her if you're my brother. I'm sitting there like, dude, this is not like you. That's one. Two, you have been literally going AWOL since you broke up with your girl. And this is the, this is the brick of it. Because I think a lot of people need to understand that this was way before they literally broke up. This was This was on the prior of them breaking up. They were just breaking up. This man literally decided to say this shit all out in the blue. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. I'm like, uh, what? Bro, what are you talking about? He said, unfollow her, bro. She's a rat. And I'm like, dude, don't get me involved in this. This has nothing to do with me, okay? Like, I'm not choosing sides. I'm not picking them. Do not get me involved in this, bro. And what does he proceed to do? He literally says... And I quote, he literally says, you fancier, don't you? And I said, no, I just don't know what's going on. I can't get involved in something that has nothing to do with me. And he says, stop sending in her love hearts. She loves attention. That's all she's looking for. She doesn't give a fuck about you. Bro, again, not my intentions. I have a boyfriend. At the time around May, I did have a boyfriend. I don't have one anymore, but you get the point. Um, why the fuck would I hit on Rebecca knowing that I'm in a relationship? He said, okay. And I called him a fool because I'm sitting there like, fool, what the fuck are you talking about? So, and then all of this happened. But fast forwarding to not even close to the end of the month of May, this man had the nerve to literally say, why are you supporting my ex-girlfriend when she cheated on me and broke my heart? Thanks. What sort of bro are you? And I said. What part of keeping your problems to yourself do you not understand, fool? And I told him specifically. He, didn't, he said, who you calling the fool, move? Nigga, you literally, and I remember saying this. Nigga, I told you, and Rebecca, keep me out of this. I've been said this, and that was the end of the discussion. Simple as that. He has not said anything since then. And what does he proceed to do years later? Well, ladies and gentlemen... Fast forwarding to today, started literally tweeting out, and guys on here flirt with every girl, not knowing that they're all mutual friends. You guys are so stupid, you wouldn't even know how to treat a girl right if you did get a date. Put your tongues away, you lizard necks. And then after that tweet, I literally made a Dwayne The Rod Jackson meme. I'm not joking, I literally did this because I thought he was bringing up the fact that, uh, how can I say that? I thought he was bringing up the fact that that whole 
issue between him and Rebecca was going on. I thought he was bringing that up. But in ultimate reality, he literally decided that it was just saying that in general. Pretty much after that, he literally decided to give me a bit of a lecture of what he was talking about. And I pretty much decided to literally retort saying, okay, that's cool. That's understandable. Okay, cool. So as he does this, he says, keep your ears and eyes off my stuff if you don't agree with it. Other than that, get your facts straight. And that's about it, though. At least from what I remember from the last tweet, because now he has me blocked. The reason he has me blocked is because he knows that I'm about to actually expose him. Because ever since I literally got blocked, I had somebody keep an eye on him. And let it be known, he tried to talk shit about me. And literally tried to tell the community that we both grew up in, that I was the evil person in this. Keep in mind, there's no such thing as evil and bad people. Because even though I admitted to my mistakes, there are times where I literally have fucked up. But even then, we have never had these type of issues where literally I have had a serious fight with this dude up until May, and now he has literally changed over time, and it literally makes no sense. And ever since he's been in this fucking relationship and literally broke things off with her, he completely went mad. So now I'm literally sitting here trying to figure out what's going on. After not even talking to him for about a week, he immediately gets upset with me about this. And then, oh, in the midst of all this, he literally says, don't get on me about my tweets. I told you to stay away from me, you nosy fuck. And I'm sitting there like, dude, I don't even remember literally talking to you on Twitter for almost the, for weeks now since June has been up. And then he literally says in those same words, keep it that way. Okay. Okay. So in the midst of all this, I'm going to say this right now. Me and him are no longer friends. And as a result, he can go fuck himself. I don't give a damn who literally supports him at this point. If you support him, you are supporting a madman. If you support me, God help me, forbid. I hope you believe everything I say at this point, because I really have no idea what the fuck is going on. Like, literally, I'd be going literally hiatus for almost the entire sense of June, and I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. And then I literally get this whole entire fucking beef happened to me, and then I literally realize and look at these tweets that he's literally turning against me. And I'm like, yo! What did I do to you, bro? What did I do to you? You think I really did something wrong to you, fool? All right. All right. That's fine. Just so you know, I literally showed the screenshots up there. Just to let you know. Thanks to Zepsy, I have these screenshots, thank God. And this will literally prove that he has lost his fucking mind. I have not said a word to him since then. How am you, my brother, and you literally turned against me as if I did something to you, fool? You wrongly assume shit. I literally tell you something. You immediately decide to literally do everything you can to turn against me as if I did something wrong to you. Nah, man. I'm done. This friendship is over. Anybody supports him, go ahead. Do what you want. You just know you're supporting a fucking madman. But after this shit, bruh, I'm done. Nah, I can't do this anymore, dude. <laughs> I can't do this anymore.